question number nine, if you'll look at your sheet that you've printed out, is a picture of a graph, and it's actually a line segment. What I want you to notice about the line segment is one of the ends of the line segment is drawn as an open circle, which, which means that that's hollow, and that the x value and the y value that would correspond with that missing point are actually not part of the graph, whereas the solid dot, that x value and that y value is an ordered pair that is part of the graph. Another thing that I want to remind you is this. Remember that domain, which is what we're looking for in this picture, is the x value. If I had you picture yourself on a piece of graph paper, and I asked you to show me which way the x value went on graph paper, you would be walking back and forth. You wouldn't be going up and down, that's the y value. You would be going, basically I would want you to go from left to right, okay? So anytime you're being asked for domain, you're being asked to talk about the something about the x value, and what I want you to picture is, if you were walking on a piece of graph paper and you were looking at the x value, you would be walking from left to right. So now let's make that connection with the question that we're being asked here. Come on down with me to the paper, and I want you to look at the picture that you're, you've given on your test. We are given this picture. This is hollow, and this is solid, and we're being asked to find the domain. So what we need to do on this picture is we need to walk from left to right, and we need to see, as we do, what x values um, we walk along. Now, this x value is what? 2. And this x value is 5. So basically, to view this picture on the x-axis, we would be walking, we would be walking from 2 to 5. Now, one important thing I want you to see is this. The number 2 is not actually included as part of this graph, but the number 5 is. So, here's what I want you to see. 2 is an important number because that's sort of your left marker. 5 is a very important number because that's sort of your right marker. X is in the middle we're sandwiching x in the middle. In order to do that, we need to put our inequality signs, but what I want you to notice is this. This inequality sign is going to have an, an equals under it, and the reason is because 5 is included. This inequality sign is not going to have an equals under it because the number 2 is not included because that's a hollow circle. So the correct way to write your domain would be pretty much like I have here, but I'm going to rewrite it again. Okay, here's I want you to see it. 2 is the left marker, 5 is the right marker. X is in between, so you're kind of going to, you're going to sandwich this. These inequality signs both point to the left when you're sandwiching. We put an equals here because 5 is included, and we don't put an equals there because 2 is excluded, and this is then the domain of that original graph.